Welcome back to Watch the Thread. Uh, I know it's been a little while, but uh, we just had some family things going on or whatever, but uh, hoping to get back in the swing of things here. So welcome back if you've been here before. Otherwise, uh, welcome if you're new. We're always glad to have uh, new people around. So I just wanted to share a few things that have been happening or that I've sort of purchased basically over the last couple of weeks, um, being some uh, McCall's patterns. There was a sale now a few weeks back or maybe even a couple of months back, um, but it took a little while, I think, for everything to get through customs. Um, and so I only received it a few weeks ago. And then I also just have some bits and bobs that I uh, got on a sale that Blueprint was having. Um, and so yeah, it's a bit of an unboxing, but not really because I've already opened everything. <laughs> so uh, let's get started. Okay, now for the McCall's patterns, um, they were having a $3 pattern, $3.99 pattern sale a little while ago, and I decided to just buy a few things because when they go on sale in Canada, um, at least through the places where I normally get my patterns, it was still a better deal to buy them at $3.99 US and pay the shipping and customs charges than if I bought all the same number of patterns um, in Canada somehow. So um, here are the ones that I got. I got McCall's M7726. These are uh, some pants, Mrs. Shorts, pants, and sash. There are a few different views here. Uh, shorts, obviously, there's a tapered pant and then a wide leg pant and the option of a, sh a sash for most of them. Um, and I thought those were really cute and I am planning on making the shorts very soon. So hopefully I'll be able to show those to you um, not too long or not too far in the future. Is that what I'm trying to say? I think. Um, okay, so then the next one is McCall 7687, which is uh, tops. And these are fitted tops, have front and back princess seams and back button closure and sleeve variations. So um, the one I really want to make is view A, which I think is super cute. Um, and I have some fabric picked out for that already. So again, another one that I'm hoping to be able to show you relatively soon. Um, I also got a number of the Palmer Pletch uh, patterns. I think I, I had mentioned um, in a previous video that I bought the Palmer Pletch Method book and was using that, but the patterns that they make for McCall's also already have the lines drawn in for any um, adjustments you might need to make. So I thought I would try a few of these and just see how they work. So the first one is M7407 um, and it's just a loose fitting knit top or a dress. And I thought those were really easy. Uh, center seam, as you can see from the line drawings, um, I thought that was just really cute and easy. Um, would be a good one to do. The next is the um, fit pattern. So it's a standard sheath fit pattern. You can also make a dress, but um, this one has all of the lines, all of the fitting, and I thought this would just be a good practice pattern to sort of figure out what the right fit is for me. I've been wanting, and so like, um, I think I mentioned before, I'm, I subscribe to Blueprint and have their annual membership. And through that, um, they every, well, just this past year have been offering um, members three free classes every for every quarter so you get or I should say you get a code for something free every quarter and so um, I have been using my codes to get the pattern making and design courses through blueprint that Susie Furrer does which I think are great and if you don't know who Susie Furrer is um, the love to sew podcast actually just did an interview with her which was really really good and fun to sort of see how she is as a person um, but and so I'll put a link to that below but um, yeah I thought that was really great and I've watched them just on the blueprint like unlimited subscription a number of times because I'm a little bit obsessed um, and I really want to at some point sort of put the effort in to make my own slopers and start maybe designing a bit but at this point it's just I don't have time for that and so I was hoping that if at least I get a fit pattern I can use that to as like the starting point right some of it like a lot of the work is already done and then I just need to sort of conform it to my own shape and body and all of that so I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that will work. Um, and then the other one I got is the M650, uh, which is just a basic shirt with a um, cut on collar. 
Uh, and this is the one they actually do. There's a Palmer Pletch blueprint class, which I've also watched, and it's the one they do in the class. And so I thought um, I would take a gander, see if that one works. And then the last one, I just thought this was really cute, um, is M7470, which is a top and dress pattern. I really like View D, and that's one I'd like to make. Um, basically in like a chambray or denim, just like this. I think that's just super, super cute uh, shirt dress pattern um, and should provide, it's got princess seams, lots of um, different places to sort of adjust the fit and make it work. So fingers crossed that one will be a good one. Um, then here's a couple others that I just liked. Um, and this one is McCall's M7810. So this is, I thought something that would work well when I'm when I'm starting to go back to work um, and if you haven't seen it Brittany J Johnson just did a pattern um, so or so long I should say sorry a so long with this pattern and it was right after I bought it and I watched the so long and I was like oh I'm glad I bought that one because I like it um, so I think I would probably do view a which is the one that's on the model um, I, it's sort of the simplest but some of these other like so here's view a some of these other ones are a little weird but um like i don't really why would you want a long skirt like that i'm not sure maybe if you're making it for like a nice evening out or something whatever anyway um so i got that one i got mccall's um m7661 so these are a pants pattern i really like the ones that the model has on but i also liked these flared versions um that i thought would be really cute and would be good for a variety of sort of like you could do these in a summer weight these would be more fall appropriate maybe even winter um, so I thought this sort of provided a lot of year-round options um, then the next one's m7439 is a variety of skirts I think Brittany Johnson also did this pattern as a sew along um, and I want to say did she? I don't remember there was a skirt pattern. It might not be this one. Anyway, so there's this one. It's got a number of different views and it says it's flared skirts have waistband, back zipper closing length variations and narrow hem. Um, you know, some one of them has patch pockets and yeah, there's a flounce on view C, which is not too bad. Um, yeah, a shaped hem or a shaped waistband that I don't love, but um, this I think will be, it's just a good, basic pattern to have and then um you know I'm not I don't really want to sew active wear like I don't have a desire to do that but I thought that um this top and these leggings like one pattern that was a top and leggings would be good to have um just because they're comfortable and um if I can make my own then there we go and I thought this top and like this one is a full outfit right it's a hoodie top and leggings and um, I thought this top was super cute with the open back detail and um, you know hoodies are always in style so why not make your own um, so yeah so those were all the patterns McCall's patterns I should say that I bought there were a number of other patterns I've also bought um, but they're PDF patterns or on their way and so um, I'll share those in another video I kind of not as organized as I would like to be today so um, I don't have the list of the ones that I bought with me right now but um, I will let you know I know I got some from Helen's closet I got the um, black is it blackbird cardigan or blackburn cardigan maybe um, I got that and I got the Winslow um, she just introduced her new size range and the Winslow culottes were one of the first patterns or the first pattern I think that she uh, released with the updated size range so I got the Winslow culottes um, I also bought her new patterns that she just released which is the Ashton top and the Donovan skirt um, I wanted so badly to like make the Donovan skirt immediately and printed everything and because it's just PDF pattern um, printed the instructions and then realized that my print so like I printed the one page with the square on it which was came out perfectly and it was the two inches all around everything but then um, the 
annoyingly, I realized that my printer, when I turned the scaling off, one side of the page was completely, was cut off. It hadn't printed the left side of any of the pages. So they were never gonna like, I was not gonna be able to put the pattern together properly. So I've gotta reprint that, figure out exactly what happened because obviously you don't want the scaling on when you're printing a PDF pattern, but I don't know, I don't know what happened. Okay, so the next thing I bought was from Blueprint, like I mentioned, um, and they were having a sale. Um, I think it was just a free summer sale, I'm not entirely sure. And so there were a few odds and ends, things that I'd been sort of wanting to get uh, for a little while and finally bit the bullet. So I got a small pack of these Wonder Clips, um, which you'll see why in a minute, but I've got a few um, new fabrics that are a bit more like trickier to work with. And I just, and sometimes pins just aren't the best. And I like just, I don't know, maybe I'm too clumsy or I've got like club hands, but I find that sometimes with pins, um, I just like get really tripped up with them and drop them in there everywhere. And that, because I have little children, like I don't want to have pins lying all over the floor. So I, I figured I'd get a small pack to start, see how they worked for me. And then um, you know, if they're good, get some more. Um, I stupid, I shouldn't say stupidly, but like, I remember at some point a long time ago when I was first getting into like crafting had bought a big bag of these pins and because they're not, they're not inexpensive. Right. And so are the clips, I should say not pins. So I had a big bag of wonder clips at some point and it's just vanished and I have no idea. I mean, like I've moved countries, I've been all over the place. So I'm sure it just, at some point I thought, when am I ever going to use these? And I just tossed them. And as with many great things, like this is my fear, like as a tangent, as you know, side note, um, it's kind of why I have trouble getting rid of anything. And I'm not really a pack rat. Like I keep things for a long time. Like, well, the problem is I keep things for a long time. I don't buy a ton of new clothes. I don't buy a ton of new, but like, I still have things literally from that I wore in high school, like literally. And so, um, yeah, they've just, I'm always scared that at some point I'm gonna be like, oh, didn't I have something like that? And I'll realize that I threw it out, you know, six months previously or something. And so it's not that I don't get rid of things, but like when it comes to like any basic thing, I, I just have trouble letting go because inevitably it's happened too many times where as soon as I finally bite the bullet and, and get rid of it, I'm then like, wait, I needed that. Uh, so anywho, here's what I got from Blueprint. So one of the things they ha were having a sale on the boundless fabrics and I have for a long time now wanted to make a quilt and a while ago, uh, which I don't think I've shared with you guys cause this was before I started the podcast, but like I bought, they, there was a, um, box of boundless fat quarters. It was just a box of, I think every color they make. And so I was going to make a baby quilt out of using those like just random colors, like picking random colors. And I've got a book, which I'll share in a different, um, which I'm going to share in a different podcast, but, um, I've got a book that has a template for a baby quilt. And so I bought a couple of yards of, um, this boundless. Now I can't remember the name of it. So it's four yards of little boy blue solid in the boundless fabric. So, I think that color is coming up. It's a little washed out. Maybe it's the plastic, but um, I got that to be the, the back material, backing material. Um, I got this leather thimble, which is not something. So it's a clover double-sided thimble is what it's called, if you can see that. It's a bit uh, of a glare, but anyway, it's leather and then it has a metal tip here because I've tried a couple of different thimbles and I like the idea of a thimble, um, when I'm doing some hand sewing and I do some embroidery on occasion. Like I have a variety of random projects on the go. Um, but I just thought this would be nice and I like it and I thought it looked nice and you know, the leather is really, really soft. So I just wanted to see how well that one worked. Um, and then the last thing I got was uh, Taylor's ham. So I'm super excited about this. The box got a little damaged, I think, in transit or warped or something. Like it's all sort of melty and whatever. But this is a Dritz Taylor's ham. Um, I'm super excited about this because I was, you know, 
doing a variety of creative things with the edge of my uh, ironing board when I needed to pull press darts and uh, other curved seams before. So I think this is going to be really awesome and I'm really excited to um, add this to my sewing like notions collection. Um, and yeah, I just haven't opened it yet because I wanted to share it with you guys. So, yeah. Um, and okay. So that's, that was everything I got from blueprint. So like I said, the blueprint one was just, they were having a random sale. So there were a few things that I'd been thinking about getting for a little while and figured it was a good time to stock up. So other than that, um, okay. Are you guys ready? I have one fabric or I shouldn't say one fabric. I bought a couple of different fabrics, but the newest fabric acquisition is from Blackbird Fabrics. And excuse the crinkling for a minute. These are so beautiful and I'm so excited. And I already have plans for them. Um, so I bought this abstract leaf rayon. Isn't it so pretty? And I got, um, two meters. So I just think this is so beautiful. So pretty. So summery also like everything about it makes me happy. Um, and my plan for this is to make a pair of the Winslow culotte shorts. Um, I will need to line it, it is a bit see-through. Um, but I just think these are going to be super breezy and comfortable and wonderful. And I can't wait. That's going to be really awesome. So that's my plan for that. And then one of the other patterns I got was the Megan Nielsen bodysuit. And I'm forgetting, Ronan maybe, I'm forgetting the name right now, but I'll put it in um, the description box and I'll link that. And this is the Bamboo Rib Knit. It is 89.5% rayon from bamboo and 10.5% spandex. Um, and this in white, so there's just a gentle rib you can see there. It's so soft and wonderful. And I'm just like, I can't wait to put this on my body. So, um, I was initially, I think I got enough. So I got a one meter and initially I was thinking I was going to make the bodysuit, but then I realized that I didn't want to do that. So I'm going to make, there's a t-shirt option, um, in the same pattern. So I'm going to make the t-shirt and I just thought these together, like I wanted to be able to wear just a nice fitted shirt and some really loose fun pants, um, in this cause it's summer. And I thought these were just perfect and they went well together and I can't wait to have a whole outfit to show you. Um, and then the last thing I did was I had shared some Megan Nielsen children's patterns that I'd bought previously. Um, and I made my daughter the mini briar, uh, shirt in that, uh, fun in the sun, like animal print. Um, and I'll insert some pictures of the, sh her wearing the shirt here. Um, but she loves the shirt. Like I knew, I mean, she's two and a half basically. Like she loves animals, loves just like fun things. So as soon as I like showed it to her, she was like animals and that was it like she was done she wore it today to school otherwise I would have like had it here uh to show you but um but yeah so she has she loves the shirt has worn it a few times already um and you know it's not perfect but I'm really proud of it because like the fact that she loves it too you know and um yeah so I'm really excited that I finally made something that was like really good <laughs> and that, uh, and it was for someone else and all of that. So it felt really good to like sort of see her wear it and get excited about it and everything. So that's everything I think for now. Um, I'm going to also do another video just showing all the sewing books that I have. Um, because I haven't had time recently. Like I had a number of things going on and just, I, uh, actually took my citizenship, citizenship test on Monday or this past week. And so, uh, which is in June, if you're watching this at some point in the future, June, 2019, I took my citizenship test and I passed, which is really exciting. So now I just have to wait for the swearing in ceremony. But, um, you know, I just had a bunch of other things going on that were taking up a lot of free time. And so now the baby seems to have a bit more of a nap schedule. She's getting older. She's almost three months, which I can't believe like the time has gone by so quickly. Um, and I'm sort of getting into a bit more of a groove of no, being able to plan when I'll have time to do things. So, um, that's sort of my next 
goal is to really plan um, a couple of these projects and get things like I've washed the fabric for I think last time I was talking about doing some pants out of the linen I've washed the linen um, and I'm prepared like I've prepared a few different fabrics now that it's really just a matter of like sitting down cutting out the um, patterns and just getting down to business so um, I think I'll sort of plan a day to cut patterns like I've got to do it in increments. So I just have to sort of plan that out and see how it goes. So that's everything right now. Um, thank you so much again for stopping by. This is really a lot of fun. And um, yeah, I think that's it. So have a great day. Bye.